Alright, so let's go through the thought process here. You're playing Belveth, this is perfect, just lock this in. Alright, so you have Ezreal, Seraphine, Nasus, v uh, Vagar. Your entire yeah, comp yeah. is like, uh, <laughs> you guys aren't getting outscaled. It's, it's one way to look at this. So don't feel pressured to overdo things, but make sure you're farming. Make sure if there's opportunity, you can help. Otherwise, you're literally as happy as you can ever be looking at your comp. Um, which side are you passing this game? Uh, I'm passing pot. Yeah, I'm passing bot side. It's yeah. really great setup. Yeah. Looks good to me. Just be careful. They have Ash, Karma. Those champions will push in your bot lane very, very hard. It's, there might be a chance you have no prio, so just be careful. If, they have, if you have no prio, that also means you might be able to gank them, though. So it's not it's not like the worst situation ever. Alright, so... You're about thinking bots, they have Shaco with Ignite, so what are you going to do about Shaco? Shaco is a problem in the enemy jungle, is there something you can do at level 1? Any plan you can uh, do to prevent Shaco from killing one of your laners? Okay, he might be gone. No, I'm here. Oh, are you thinking about it, or...? I need you to repeat. I was changing the battery in my oh, headphones. You're good, you're good. Um, what I was saying was, Shaco is a problem, right? He's, he's, he's going to try and yeah. kill three kings so many ignite. What can you do to prevent that without ruining your cycle, ruining your clear? Level 1 is um, something you want to do, almost always. Hmm. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Try and get vision for... The anticipated gank. Yep. Try and use your ward level one then. Yep. But uh, from Shake of Athen, he like does like blue gromp or red raptors into them blue or something. Yeah, what you can do, since you're stronger level one, I want you to actually go into his jungle, his topside jungle. Okay. Bring your bring your bring your um shop to the right. Like drag it from the top to the right, bring it to the middle. No, no, to the middle, to the middle, to the middle of the screen, and then to the left, go to your go to your potions real quick. Go to your potions, and then pin it to the top left. Hit the thing in the top left. Pin that, and then pin your boots. And then pin your other thing. Pin that. Pin all this. Thank you. Okay, now go go to his jungle. Go to his, go to his raptors, and if you want to make it a little more centered, you can feel free. But um, yeah, you need to make sure you have those pinned there. It makes your life way easier. If you need to swap to Scanner, if you need to swap to Blue Trinket, if you want to buy the right boots, it makes your life a lot easier. So you might get hit by a Shaco box here. Careful, yeah. You can just, yeah. uh, you can just, uh, yeah, that's shows. So Katarina's here, your teammates are AFK right there's, there's no real pressure, but you do want to get a ward. So make sure you go get this ward. Super chill. Are you start on blue buff? Yeah, you can just start blue. Grump it's okay. Raptors. Yeah, just do Grump Raptors after. It's no problem. Yeah. Oh, Ness is going to help, Pog. All right, looks good so far. You see Shaco on your map right there? Yeah. You just said Raptors, right? So just make sure you're keeping keeping that in mind. If you can, next time, make sure you ping. Make sure you ping to your teammates so everyone sees Shaco there. Make sure you're kiting out the Gromp. Cut it out a little bit. Nice. Nice. Okay. 
Looks good. Just keep it up. So I want you to ping mid lane and ping top lane now. Because you're done with your third camp. So Shaco is also done with its third camp. It's a ping top lane. No, ping top lane. Ping top lane as well. Yeah, and then just keep finishing your clear now. Perfect. See? Shaco's top lane. And there you go. You pinged for him. Right? It's beautiful. Yeah. So that's what jungle tracking is like, okay? So since you finished your third camp, the enemy jungler also finishes third camp. So if ju enemy jungler was also farming right now, he'd be doing his fifth camp as well. But because he ganked, well now he has three camps, you're on your fifth camp. So just finish your clear here. So I want you to use your E a little bit later here. Your E needs to execute them. You can't use the E at the while it's at 700 HP. You need to use your E at around 500 HP. And make sure you leave a passive stack up, I believe. Someone's in chat, someone chat saying that. Before you E. Everything looks good so far. You can walk over this war, not a problem, but Shaco can be here, okay? So you're just going to be careful because Shaco can be here. What you can do... Oh, yeah. yeah Shaco, Shaco mid, Shaco's mid. So you can look at mid, look at Shaco's HP. Shaco's full HP, okay? But he's using all of his spells on the wave, okay? So you need to be a little careful here because Karma can come. Careful, careful, careful. Hey, careful, careful. Alright, it's okay. No problem. Just just try and um, get out of here coming. and then and then recall. Yeah, th there's no problem. All good. All good. Just 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 recall as fast as you can. Recall, recall. Shaco's not going this deep. Shaco's not going this deep. That's that's on them. Like, it's too late. Just go continue to continue to clear and remember you guys are the scaling comp. You don't need to pressure. If you're in a bad position, don't do it. Okay, you're in a bad position there to do the crap. Don't do the crap. Use your Qs at a base, please, so you can get there faster. I guess I'll do crab. And no, just, 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 just do the grump. Just do the grump here. Yeah. Because the bot lane is very volatile. You can just do the grump. You can just do the wolves. And you can just make it down the bot lane as fast as you possibly can. I want you to think. What's our next plan here? What's our next plan in the game right now? Uh, clear as fast as possible. Get look for bot lane for opportunities. And... Then set for dragon if we can get something. <clears throat> Sounds good. As you check and chat. They're cleaning vision. Yep. Go to your crux and just wait there. There's nothing for you to do over here. You can literally just S key at your crux. There it is, right? You want you'd want to be there as soon as it spawns so you can clear it faster. So we're a little bit slow here for no reason. Now where's Shaco on the map? Try to ping wherever you think Shaco is. You should go sweep through the river, and if Botlane pushes a wave in, you can do this dragon, but you also gotta think, you're playing a scaling comp, there's no need to pressure. I want you to recall here, okay? I want you to sweep through and recall, because we don't know where Shaco is, actually. Yeah. And and you're under no pressure, right? Look at top lane, look at mid lane while you're recalling. Look at top lane, look at mid lane, you're gonna be going to tr towards top side, right? Ping mid laner, be careful, tell him to be yeah. careful. He's little, he's trying to push a wave here, yeah? Buy your items, right? You don't need, you don't need another ping, you can undo it, undo it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine, it's still, it's still, it's still. Right, so you already have a pink placed on Dragon. You, you don't want to use two pinks like that. You have no idea where she goes. Yeah, that's okay. So if you had, if you don't know where the enemy jungler is, you want to ping around the map. And you also got to be careful of yourself, too. You can go track the grubs real quick, and then be careful. Hit the plant. Hit the plant on the grubs. Yeah. The plant's right there. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, he's here. It's okay. That's okay, you can just wander to the crap here. That's fine. Again, you guys are the scaling comp. That's fine, that's fine. Just just go back to your camp, it's fine. Yep. You could use your smite. He's going AP, JK. Do your grump... Uh, uh, that's fine. Do, I was just saying, do your bluff first. It's fine. Just just ping mid, since he was going that way. I want you to be a little careful here because Shaco could invade you. 
Just be a little careful. Good. Alright. And before you E from now on, make sure you have one passive stack. E. It's uh, apparently really crucial to your champion. Make sure you try and kite the camp out a little more. Right, you cleared the you cleared the camp right in the wolf fit. That's some inefficient um, clearing. So just keep just keep just keep your stuff going. Remember, we are scaling really hard this game. There's no there's no pressure at all. And you want to just keep using your pings. That's all you're doing. You're just farming and using your pings. Just keep letting people know to be careful. Yeah, if they're stepping up. You need to let them know to be careful. <coughs> right, what you can do is, yeah, you can, you can counter gank this guy. Careful, you're gonna show when he shows. Careful, go back, go back to your camp now. He's leaving, he's leaving. Go back to your camp now. So we'll, we'll talk about that after, but that's fog of war right there. Just finish your camp. So pretty much, you, you, he, sh he showed, you showed when he showed, so he's going to run away, right? Like, he's not going to stay there. He's on the dragon, you shouldn't let him, uh, I mean, you guys are low, it's fine, it's fine. Just recall, just recall. If you don't, if, if you don't, I don't think it's fightable. Right, how do yeah, we know it's fightable? Look mid lane, look mid lane, look at their conditions, right? They're even, okay, Katarina is stronger. Ash is yeah. stronger. So just scale, you're fine, lose lose a dragon, it's okay. Your champion's on a prior, that's fine. Go to top camp now, go look for his top camps. Enemy jungler is, is supposed to win this, right? Because they're strong. Path through mid lane. Path through mid lane is faster. Path through mid lane. Path through mid lane. Path through mid lane, and then through the jungle. After you go through, at go to the jungle now. Go to the jungle now. To the no, through your jungle, to path to the crab. You're going to the crab. Yeah, that's how you path. You path through mid to your jungle to the crab. That's how you path fast. Okay, right. At this point, you want to hold tab. You want to make sure you get information. After you do this crap, don't lose this crap. Go go to go go to your no no no. You don't want to invade now. You don't want to invade now. It's too late. Right, and it's okay. You wanna you wanna. Oh shoot, we want an extra dagger. Why? We're we're now that puts us 300 gold further away from our item. I didn't even notice that. Right, so don't don't spend extra gold on an item that pushes you away from your first item. Uh -huh. Okay, you want to get your first item as fast as you can. If if you did not buy this dagger, you'd be able to do your entire sequence recall and buy your item. But now you have to do an extra 300 gold worth of camps or kills or something. Make sure you, you kite the camp out, okay? Make sure you kite the camp out. Yeah. You you keep finishing the camp in the pit. You cannot finish the camp in the pit. So hold tap for me. Look, Vagar's item now, right? Vagar's item, Ezra's almost at item. You want to match your timer to win Vagar's item so you can win a fight with the bot lane and you can win the game. So right here, I want you to go into his bot side. I want you to go into his bot side. Go into his bot side. There you go. You can sweep through the through the jungle here. Can't even stop one. You can look for his bot camps. You can look to fight the karma. You can look for these camps here as well. So bring it. Bring, be a little careful here. But Shaco's likely on the Rift Herald or the Grubs. Look at Botlane. Botlane's fighting right now. You want to you want to be ready to help them if they if they need help. Look at this guy. You need to look. Where, where, where are we looking? Wait for the wave in, and then you. you no, no, no. Stay, stay behind. Don't show yourself. Stay in that bush. Stay in the above you. Above you. Stay in the bush. You need to block their escape path. You need to just block their escape path here. You can do the gromp. Yeah, you can do the gromp while you're waiting here. Yo, sit in that bush. You need. You need to see what they're doing. You, you need to see what they're doing. Yeah, sit in that bush. Stay in that bush. Don't use your okay. Go go try, try and dive this guy. You can try and dive this guy. You can try and dive this guy. Should be able to. Yep, Harold. It's okay. Right. So why do we no no careful 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 of Ash as well careful of Ash and Jacob. But why do we use our E on the Gromp when we're about to dive them? How does that make sense? Go to your Krugs, get your first item. Careful careful of Jacob. Careful of Jacob. He's right there. Yeah. You guys are good. Why did you use your E before the Gromp? You know, or while while on the Gromp before the dive? It doesn't make sense. I think they're gonna try and dive. No, 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 go to your Krugs. Look, they're, they're, they cannot dive, you guys. They cannot do anything here. If you're scared, pull the Krugs down. 
Okay, if you pull the crux down to your bush. Yeah, pull them down. There you go. If you're scared, do that. There you go. So you can spite it? Yeah. Guys, come in. Okay, now recall and get your item. Don't even don't even stay for that wave. Recall and get your item. Right, so if you're ever gonna dive someone, if you're gonna make a play, don't use your spells before the play. It doesn't make any sense. Now go straight back to top lane and restart the clear all the way down, and you're in a really good position. Hold tap for me and look at Shaco. Shaco's level seven, you're level eight. Right, almost level nine. Okay, so you've generated a full level on Shaco, and you know this. This is playing tempo, it's playing fundamentals, and your teammates are doing really good too. This game is really, really chill. What you want to do here is you want to play for your blue grump wolves and then play for Herald. Okay, I'm going to give you the game plan here because I want you to make sure you get this Herald. Oh, yeah, don't let this guy do this. Okay. Don't, yeah, yeah. Careful. Oh, That's a clone. Nice. Careful. Yeah. You got his ultimate though. That's really, really, it's really, really chill. Okay. Careful, careful. You kill kill the clone, bro. Yeah. You can heal from your camps. And then you still want to play for this Herald, right? Herald is still what you want to play for. Shaco has no ultimate now. So you, you, what you need to do is I'm going to give you the, the site to use afterwards. And you're going to use this thing called Smite Arena. And you need to practice your smites. Because your smites this entire game are not good. Do the Gromp. Do the Gromp and you can heal. Use your W. Use all your spells here. So you can heal. W. Why aren't we dubbing? It's just hitting you for free now. Now you want to ping your teammates, you're going to play for this. You can gank Cho'gath first as well. Gank Cho'gath first. Gank Cho'gath first. This guy's stepping too far up. Yeah, try to get this guy's conditions here. W? Oh, careful, ah. careful. Yeah, we, we, you're looking at your HP bar, buddy? Like, what's going on? <laughs> you, you, you still, you, you're, not un, you're not invincible, you know? Like, that guy is still very strong. Also, yeah. you, don't, you don't need to kill this guy. You need to chunk him so you can go do the Herald. But watch your HP. You can kite better. You can use your spells better. You can use your W better. You could use your E better. Use everything, every single skill better. Okay, your Balian's winning now. Go to bot side. Don't even do this herald anymore. Go to bot side. Go to bot side. Do your two bot camps, and you can play for the objective that Shaco doesn't play for, since we already died in the top side. They get first choice on which objective they want to do. Yeah. Right. Make sure you're pulling the camp out all the way to the edge. You gotta stop killing these camps in the pit. It's very, very bad. Okay. Depending on where Karma is for this bot play, you might be able to look at this Ash. See, Shaco's using Herald top lane, using all this top lane. I want you to play with this dragon, right? After the, get this camp as fast as you can, and then go play with the dragon. You can kill this guy too. You can kill this guy too, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Good. Try to use your W. Nice. Okay, no, no, no. You just go to the dragon now. Go to the dragon. Sweep through. Sweep through. Sweep, sweep. Yeah, good. Ash has no flash, so just try to ping Ash flash, okay? Now you know, Ash has no flash, 21 minutes. Or 20, 20 minutes, because she has inspiration. You guys can win the fight here, win the fight here. You need to fight with your team, you need to fight with your team. You need to fight with your team. You need to fight with your team. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. You, you need to get out of that pit earlier, and you need to be ready to fight. We can't, we can't sit in the pit while our teammates are dying. Right, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, the Cho'gath 1v2v3, 2v3, 2v3 top lane. Not, not great. Go back to your items. You, need, you want to buy HP instead of uh, triple longsword. You need some HP. You don't need more damage. More damage will not help you. And then go back to your camps and restart. Keep clearing down. Okay. Hold tab. You guys are still scaling. All right. 
look at click on Nasus, click on Vigar, look at their look at their um look at their stacks, see how strong they are. Yeah, three hundred stacks, nice. Hundred thirty stacks, awesome. Okay. We gotta still get information. We gotta see how we're doing, we gotta see how we're scaling. Okay, after the Raptors, go to your Krugs. Just leave these guys alone. They're they're really really strong right now. You guys aren't strong just yet. It's two people balling. Just careful. So under so finish as fast as you can, and then go under your turret here. Use that Q. Use that Q to kill. That's so much gold right there. Yeah, thank you. 80 gold right there. You can't leave those little ones up like that. It's too risky. Stop showing yourself yeah, here. Yeah. You you want to sit in fog of war, right? They already know you're here, but earlier you want to make sure they don't know you're here. They still did not know you were in that bush, right? And you're running away. Why are you running away? Okay, we're defending well. That's good. Ping mid lane. Nice. Nasus is pushing top lane for free. This is really good. The wave is going to come in. You're going to sit here. You're going to chunk them guy. The chunk them as they come in. And then you're going to be happy here. Just catch the wave. Okay, you can just recall now and go to your blue buff. Nice, Nasus got a full turret. You can defend mid turret, look at mid turret as well, yep. Yeah. At this point, if you can defend a turret, if you can start a good fight, you, you, you would rather do that than do your blue buff, right? So if there's an opportunity, you need to make sure to look for the opportunity, otherwise... Um, you can farm. So only if the opportunity is easy. Don't overforce it. Right, it looks a little hard. Bring it into the bush. Bring it into the bush. Okay, careful, 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 careful. What are you doing? What are you doing? Careful. Careful, careful. Everyone's here. You have to be very careful here. And it's okay if you lose camps, you guys are behind in the game. Try to do your wolves from the mid lane. Try to safely do your, you can, you, yeah, yeah. Try to do your wolves from the mid lane. You can, you can fight with these guys here a little bit. Yeah, bring it down. All right, do your wolves. Then I'll go to, go to Raptors and then go to Krugs. Raptors, red Krugs. And you almost hit your second item. Let's see they're if they're on Baron. Yeah, well, you, you can go stop them then. If they're on, if they're actually on it, yeah. Oh, it's it's just little. I mean, it's a, you guys can go anyway. It's fine. It's, it was a little late. They have Cho'Gath. It's really hard to steal it anyway. Or not? Oh, or not? Well played. Oh, take it. Nice, nice, nice. That that's really good eyes there. You choke. I don't know why Shaka wasn't. In the pit with him. Very well played. Nice comeback. Oh, beautiful cage for this guy too. He's Merc Treads though. Hold tap. Just confirm this guy's Merc Treads. Like his tenacity wasn't that long. Why was his tenacity that long? All right, look at your items. Buy your items here. Why are we, what, what, what are we doing? Buy your items here. And then and then think about Dragon. Right? Think about Dragon with your teammates. How, do you, how are you going to win this Dragon fight? Hold tap. Get some information. How are you going to win this Dragon fight? Um, man, they have a lot of AP. Uh, and Togas, Jesus Christ, but yeah, so they have a lot of AP. Up. You have Tabai. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, I shall have Mercs. Yeah, so how 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 would you know that you needed to go Mercs over Tabai? Because they have mainly AP there. Yeah, so so in this game, so in this game, what did you need, what, what would you have had to do done, done to get the information faster? Hold tab and yeah, hold tab when when you're about to buy your boots. Yeah. You weren't holding tab, you just bought items. Every decision, you need to hold tab and get some information before. Watch this guy here, he's in your face. Yeah, you can be with your team here, nice. You have Baron now, you want to siege. So you don't care about these camps, you don't care about any of this. You want to siege their mid -shirt here.
Ping, 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 ping Viagra dot com. Ping on the way here. He's eating crab. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, work shit. with him here. Work with him here. Use your W. Work with. Work, look at your guy. Work with him here. What are you doing? Who are you, who are you focusing? You could do so much damage to this guy. W him. Yeah. Well, that's a bit early. Yeah. Yeah, well, why, why, why are we eating this guy at full HP? Right, you know what your E does, right? It's an execute. And it keeps you alive. Right, so if Chogath has 2000 HP, you're not executing him. Yeah. Right, also, you need to watch your teammates. You're not the carry at this game. Who's your carry? Hold tab? Get information. Hold tab. Yeah. Ezreal. Or yeah, Ezreal. Vigar. Or Vigar. yeah. So watch them while they're fighting. So, if Ezreal's hitting Chogath, you're hitting Chogath. If Ezreal's hitting... Ash, you're hitting Ash. If Ezra's getting engaged on by Katarina, you need to watch that. She was getting engaged on by Katarina. Your job is not to kill Cho'Gath, your job is to work with your Ezreal to try and win the game. So in these fights, you need to watch this Ezreal. You cannot be using your E like that as well. Go to your go to your ground first, go to your wolves, and then go to the red buff. Okay, this game is really, really easy to win. As long as you watch what your Ezreal is doing, you watch what your Vagar is doing, and Seraphine, they're all very strong, and you work with them to try and win. Nice hold tap for me. Keep getting this information. Look, look, you're level 13. Shago's level 11. You're doing really, really well. Your Vagar's scaling up nicely. All right, that's what that's what playing for a uh, tempo does for you. There are three top. We can get bot tower maybe. Yeah, you can go get bot tower. Path, the, path the aggressive way. You saw three top. Path the aggressive way. Aggressive way. Ag into their jungle. Aggressive way. In. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, if you if, if you think aggressive means go back to your jungle, uh, there's a problem. But yeah, go back go back their bots are here. Don't be scared when you see three top lane though. Go into their grump. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you want to reveal that you're here? Why do you want to reveal that? Right? You can you, if you yeah, yeah yeah this is good this is good w w w w w w w. You you need to start these fights with w. How do you expect to auto him or land Qs if he's going to dodge all your spells if you don't w him? He's gonna clear the wave, there's nothing you're doing here. Go to the crab, go to the crab, go to red buff, go recall. There's nothing you're doing here. He's gonna clear your waves. Oh, Carmen's here. I will hide. Yeah, you can hide and you can look for her, but she's not gonna she's not gonna face check too hard. Just do the crab here. It's all good. You can do his blue buff, you can just you can just do your red buff too, it's fine. Okay, you can just recall now. So you guys catching this wave? We need to just, look, look, you're recalling on the vision. Look at yourself, you're recalling on the vision. The wave was there and you're showing everyone in the game that you're recalling, why? Why do you want to tell them? Why do you want to announce it? Don't announce it. So think about vision. We'll talk about this more after, but you need to think about what Fog of War looks like. These are all skills you need to use to climb. Okay, now camps don't matter. So you see your teammates are fighting, go to your teammates. Yeah, help your Ezra here. Ezra's your carry, right? So be with this guy. He's your best friend. If Ezra wants to poke them, you need to be here with them. Your Gromp doesn't matter, your Wolves doesn't matter anymore. What matters? Hold tap. What's the, what's the next objective? Hold tap. Dragon, Baron. right? Dragon, Baron. Baron. yeah. Yep, yeah. so you need to be ready with your teammates to fight. You can't be doing Gromp while your teammates need your need your help. So even here, you're applying so much pressure. Careful though, you're a little too deep. Remember, you're hitting what Ezreal's hitting. If you if Ezreal's not with you, you're not you're not fighting. Nice. Don't waste your E. Don't waste your E. Nice. Really easy if you can just fight with Ezreal. So you need to make sure Ezreal's on your screen always. Nice. You guys can do the Baron now. Try to kill out this guy if you can. If he's stepping up like this. Stop him, yeah. 
E. Yeah, they did E, but I got feared because the clown died as soon as I E'd. Yeah, you gotta E way earlier. You gotta E at the start of the fight. Right, because they're bursting you. They're burst champions. What does your E do? It gives you an insane amount of resistance, right? Yeah. 55% re resistance. So if you think they're about to engage on you, your goal is no longer to use your Qs or Ws. Your goal is to live. How do you live? You spam your E. Or if you think they're going to engage on you, again, you flash right away. You flash to the start. Also, when I say Q in, who do you think I mean to Q in on? Who do you think your target should be? The Karma. Yeah, not the Shaco. How are you killing Shaco? Shaco's just going to Q and alt away. You can never kill Shaco. That's your problem here. Right, you queued you queued in try to trying to kill Shaco. You can't kill Shaco. He's not killable. This champion is too slippery. Yep, go work with your Vagar here, because your Vagar is your next strongest champion. Yeah. And you're gonna play Ezra, for the kill Shaco. Yeah, Ezra so. kill Shaco, it's really really chill. So just trying to get this dragon, and then you can go play for Baron, you can go fight these guys here. You guys have numbers here as well, so don't be scared. You're, you're, you're too scared here. Go. Oh, you, you can kill that guy too. You guys are so strong here. Yeah, look at Ash, look at Ash, look at Ash. Nice, you're right here. Okay, look at your teammates. Nice, this is still this is still very nice for you guys. Nice, look at, look at Katarina. Nice. You can kill this guy if slowly, slowly. Uh, he's a little tanky, actually. Careful, careful, careful. Get, get midwave, get midwave. Wait for Nasus. Hold tab, hold tab. Wait for Nasus. Nasus has TP probably, right? Yeah, Nasus has TP. Yeah. He's gonna TP back, so get this and go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Hold tab, does Ezra have TP? I do that not. Look, you yes. guys can fight him together right now. Uh, maybe a little scary, a little scary. A little scary, he's just gonna ult you. Careful, th these guys are down numbers. Yeah, this is nice look. Careful though. Yes. Yeah. Trying to just keep running. Use your cues to escape. Nice. Get the wave. Yeah, it's Careful, back. You're recalling on vision. You gotta go into a bush. What are we doing? Thank you. Think about Ash ult. Ash could ult you here as well. You can go Jack Show. You can uh, actually Black Cleaver is fine too. Black Cleaver is fine too. Ooh, that's really bad. Ooh, that's exhaust though. Yeah, just come to the fight. It's fine. This is good. Ash has no flash. Nice. Look at Ash. Look at Ash. Look at Ash. She's so squishy. There you go. Good target selection. You can work these guys together here. Nice and slowly. Nice. Better target selection. And again, the main idea is when, whenever your, whoever your main carriers are fighting, you need to work with them to kill whoever, whoever they're fighting. Yeah, with this Baron, yep. Shouldn't be on it, but you should want to. You want to get that crap here, okay? You you want to get that crap. Yeah. See so much vision. Stop using your E on camps that are dead. Yeah, it's a 15 second cooldown. Now in this fight, you don't even have your E. You can't even look. You can't even engage. Careful, careful, careful. You guys don't have midwave? Ping this guy, ping this guy. Yeah. The, mo the more you go forward, the more your teammates want to go forward. So you need to be careful. This is okay. This is not This is not bad. He's if your, nice. If, yeah. you, if your you. teammate lands CC, combo your CC with your W. Okay, go. Okay, just just chill. Let, let, once Vagar escapes, just chill and then go do your camps, and then ping everyone away. So if you wanted to do your camps here, you need to just ping them and go do your camps. Way earlier on. That'll let them know. Stay with this guy. Yeah. Just watch the clown. Yeah. 
Get level 16 here. Use your spells, yeah. We're using your spells to finish this. Not our E though, right? Our E is our most important spell. So yep. use every spell that's not E. Nice. Kill them. You go forward. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. You, you can even flash on that guy. You can flash on the karma. Okay, too, too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Don't have flash. No, you don't flash. Okay. It's very hard to do this as well, so you need to keep in mind. You don't. You like Cho'Gath can flash over and steal it. Shaco can steal it very easily too. You're gonna want to look to turn, or you can smite fight it if you really think you can win. All you. If you want to combo your E with smite, sure. Nice. Oh. Not bad. You can kill him. Auto this guy. Where are we going? Where are we going? Auto this guy. Auto this Shogath. Auto, auto this Shogath. Your teammates are winning on that side. Yeah, look. Someone needs to kill this guy right now. <laughs> okay, go. You, you're really close to your item. You're really, I mean, you can just recall. It's fine. You can just recall. No, no, just recall. Just recall. Just recall. It's too late. Look, look. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Just... T it's okay. Like, you don't need your item to win the next fight. But if you wanted to greed right away at the start of the game, you can. What... what don't sit in base or HP at this point in the game. If you farm one camp or two camps, or you just walk out of base and like if you're down 200 HP, 200 HP, it's fine. You want to be closer to your Ezreal and Seraphine versus any of this. Don't do your camp. Stop doing camps. Just go in the game. Yeah. We don't need any of our camps at this point in the game. We do you think Nasus is okay? Yeah, your, your team, his teammates are here. Nasus is more than okay. That guy's dying. That guy looks got one shot. Yeah, we're going to break this third here. We're going to break the top third here as well. You can you can look to go in on these guys at any point as well. Which is like QQ and then try and land your W, right? If these guys step up, QQ. Don't be so scared right now. You're really, really powerful. Nice. Look at top turret. Top in hip. Top in hip, top in hip. And then go to the next like, when the next wave shows up here, you guys can end the game. Very easily. Careful. You're taking free hit here. W E. Yeah, so if this guy goes in on you, you'll never die if you use your E. It's impossible to die. Right. Okay. So there's a lot of fighting we can we can improve on. There's a lot of decision making we can improve on. And most importantly, what I'm going to show you right now is there's something called Smite Arena that you need to use. To practice your smites. Um, let me search it for you. Unless it's gone now. Let me see. It's very old. But it's still very useful. Oh, it's still there. It still works. So, let me share my screen now. I'm going to show you the review. Give me one second. Stop watching. You can come look at my screen now. Yeah. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to send you this link real quick, is you're going to use Smite Arena to practice your smites. Okay. Let me mute this shit. One sec. 760 smite, and you just need to time it. That's it. The entire game, you miss like seven smites. Like, not even not anything's accurate. You miss so many smites. I don't even know if I'll be able to do this accurately. I did it like a second too early, right? And that's it. You just keep practicing that. That's it. That's really cool. Yeah. Dragon, 720. Okay, you, you can look at the champions as well. Most of the champions are like the same ish, so. Okay, yay. Time, 83. And I had a lot of time to not miss a lot of my smites. So you want it, the, the, the faster that is, the better. Um, but, yeah. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually look at the game, and we're going to review what the hell happened, why the hell was this game so hard, what did we do, what did we do wrong? This game felt so difficult, but why? Also, since your champions are all scaling, you need to understand that of course it will feel difficult, of course you will struggle in the early game, of course you're not going to win everything because your champions are just not meant to win. So it's completely fine, oh shit, it's completely fine to um, take L's in the early game, not a problem, but... Um, at some point, you needed to be willing to make plays. So let's take a look at um, what what happened this game. Um, so, okay. Everything here looks fine. We're doing good over here. I'll move this to match this. Okay. So our clear was okay. It was not a problem. But 
Um, here, well, our game started off with us losing Flash. Look at bot lane. They have no pride. Look at mid lane. They have no pride. What should you do here instead? Um. Oh, uh, just recall. Yeah, just recall. Yeah, just recall. But why are we forcing this this crab here? What gives you the power to force this crab? Your bot has no prio. They're playing Vagar Seraphine. They have. They're not strong at all. You don't have smite. You can't one shot this. So boom, we lose flash and we lose a lot of tempo from that. And we actually get our Vagar killed too. Shit. Okay, so that's why the game started off being really hard because although you didn't die, you lost your flash now and you got your Vagar killed. Back to our camps here. So here, your Krugs are coming up, and we're going to wrap around to ward the dragon. Why? Also, think about pathing here. If you go and ward this dragon, right, so you need to think about pathing for the rest of this game. You, if, you, if you ward this dragon, and you have a choice to go this way or this way, which way is faster to get to the Krugs? The left side. Yeah, so look at what you did. We went all the way around to the right side. Yeah. So you're pathing this entire game. Kind of looks funny. Looks funny the whole time. Okay. Look at the next sequence here. Oh, you need to swipe this camp. Right? What are we doing? The Shago is still there. Alternatively, if you want to bait the Shago to do this, you can actually kill him. He queued in, but you already used your E. Okay, so imagine a world where you've used two of your Qs. He E's, he queues in. You have your Q, you have two Qs remaining, one W, one E. He's dead. You have Dune Quiver. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He queues in, that's literally the only spell Shago has to escape. He's right here, he shows up, you queue at him, auto, W. Q, Q, no auto, it's Q, auto, W, Q, Q, E to finish, he's dead. It's no escape. E. Just I also don't know where Cho'Gath is. Um, if he's not on this rift, if he's not on this, uh, this, these grubs in the first place, if you don't know where Cho'Gath is, then why are you in the river in the first place? Yeah. So that, that's not a, that's not an actual, like, argument here. That's not an actual excuse of why, you're, like, okay, if you don't know where Cho'Gath is and you're scared, well, the moment you do this crab tells me that you assume Cho'Gath's not here. Right? Otherwise, you can't do this crap. Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't be in the river at all. Otherwise, you're, you're risking dying. So because you're on this crap, that tells me that you're fine knowing that Cho'Gath is probably not here. And he's not. How do we know that he's not? Well, think about timing. When did Cho'Gath disappear? He disappeared right over here. 6.20. You walked out of base, 20 seconds, hit the, hit the plant, and he's not here. Do you think he's magically in this bush next to you? Do you think he's magically staying in the river? Do you think he's still here? 30 seconds went by. What do you think is more realistic for Shogath? Feedback. Yeah. So don't use that as like an argument, as a coping mechanism here. You messed up your spells. You messed up your smite. Okay. So this is better. Job kiting. But then here... Look, we kill the we kill the guy in in the in the pit again. So pull the camp out, pull the camp out, and you want to finish your camp right here, down there. Okay, fog of war, big lesson here. So right now, Shaco can see you. So what's Shaku gonna do when he sees you? He's gonna run away. Yeah, he's just gonna queue away. Bye bye. Right? If you go in this bush and you wait for Shaku to queue on these guys, and then you loop around and then come, or you go this way, what happens to Shaku? What does he do? He dies or gets chunked or is committed to fight. So. Yeah, yeah, he's commi he's committing to fight. That's 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 the one I'm looking for. He's committing to fight. Yeah. Which gives you an opportunity to kill him, gate conditions, or transitions to such a dragon. Yeah. Do you understand how he can see you? How this works? Yeah. Yeah. So think about that. Think about what Fog of War looks like. 
the rest of this game, there's like three more points of Fog of War. He sees you. So if, he ever, if you can see him like this, he can see you like that. If you're on his screen, he can see you. So we recall. Why? Because we're down to not fight. Because we're scaling. But in any point of the game, doesn't matter if you're scaling, doesn't matter if you're hard winning, doesn't matter any of that, do not delay your first item. Ever. So someone asked earlier, I'm not sure they're still there, if, if you should buy boots. Even boots is an argument to, that's like, okay, if you're, if you're like not winning, you're not going to get extra resources. If you're not going to get extra resources, you can't expend that on boots or dagger or longsword or anything. So you need to only build the Kraken components here. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can't buy an extra dagger. It's not allowed. It doesn't build into Kraken Slayer. Pathing here, again. So if we were talking about our little, our, our basics, our, as a gold player, what you need to improve on right now, off the bat, your spell usage, you're fighting, so fighting slash spell usage on Belveth, you need to get more proficient on this champion. Your Fog of War usage, you're not really playing off Fog of War whatsoever. You need to cut your camps a little bit better. We're not really cutting our camps. You need to use your smites a little better. Okay. And pathing. What about our pathing here? The best pathing to get to this crab... Just by going like this. From base, going out of mid to side is the fastest way. This this angle is also fine. Versus going like this, slower. Okay, so again, the same thing. Krugs, going left side or right side, it's the same conversation here. Which way is faster to get to the, to, to the crab? Okay, we do our camps here. Awesome. We go for an invade. Awesome. So, two things here. Karma is right there. Karma just went missing. You need to be careful. Karma is not here right now. What you need to do is you need to wait. Fog of War again. If Karma's in this bush, you she sees you walking in, well, now you're going to get engaged on. Now you're going to get jumped. But if you wait for Karma to go back to lane and show in the lane where you can see her, then you know she's not seeing you. Right, but right now, we don't know where she is. We don't know where she is. We don't know where she is. For all we know, she could be walking all the way up and walking all the way around. We just don't know. When she shows back in lane, she hits the plant there. When she shows back in lane, then we can walk in. Or if you want to be really safe, you can do this. You can walk all the way around safely and then pull the bullet blue up like that. Fog of war. Don't forget it. Next step, okay? Pull the blue buff into a bush, or pull the blue buff downward, or to safety. Stop killing camps in the pits. It's very, very bad. Very, very bad principle. Okay, right here. You're in the bot lane the whole time, and we haven't taken a single peek at bot lane. Where is Shoka? Where is not Shoka? Where is Shaker right now on the map? We don't know. We don't know? Oh, he's at Grubs. Yeah, he's at Grubs. Yeah. But we're giving the assumption that he's on Grubs. What happens yeah. if he's not on Grubs? Where does that mean he is? He's top side. Okay, and, and if he's not on top side or Grubs, where where what's gonna happen in ten seconds? Uh he'll show and I'll see him at blue buff. Yeah. So that also means look at look at look at your you look at your spell usage here. Let's see if you use your spells. Yeah, look at look at you. You use your E here. Twenty seconds in their jungle, twenty second spell in their jungle. So what happens if Shaco just was full clearing? The raptors, wolves, and now after wolves, he's gonna come fight you. You beat Shaco, by the way. Not without your E, though. Yeah. Okay, and then this Ash is now 1 HP, and you can go dive her. You can literally go walk up, Q in, E, run away. Done. But you have no E. Why do we have no E? We use it on our blue buff. Okay. Yeah. In their jungle, where Shaco could also be here. So, while Shaco's top lane, we're assuming Shaco's top lane. Well, well, we need to also think that Shaco could also come to us. So, step one, Shaco could be here, right? Shaco could be anywhere. At any point, enemy jungler can do whatever they want. So, if Shaco's here, here on us, 
we need to save our spells. We cannot use our E like this. Okay, now let's assume Shaco's top lane. If Shaco's top lane on Grubs, then we can make a dive bot lane very easily. How can we make a dive bot lane? We need information. We need to see their HP. So right now, they're fighting. They're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. Look at bot lane. Should not take you a full camp's worth of time to look at bot lane. And don't use your spells. And again here. So we're sitting, we're very confused. Where should we be? Where should we be? Where should we be? What's their escape route? Uh, question. Uh-huh. So when doing the camp and like looking in other lanes, should I pull it out as far as I could pull it out and just auto attack it while I look at other lanes or? Look at the lane, use an F key, and then just yeah. go back to your character. Okay. It takes like one second to get a decent understanding of what's going on. You're looking at two things. One, HP. That's step one. If it takes you one second, two seconds to do that, that's fine. Step two, once you get better, you want to look at the wave as well. But the first thing you need to do is while you're doing this blue buff, doesn't matter where you're doing it, doesn't matter what position you're doing it in, always you should kite it out though, always. That's just principle, always kite it out. Well, you look really quickly, you look at their HP, and then you go back and you decide what's next. But here, we're a little just we're a little confused. Where's their escape route? If they're stuck on a list, where's their escape route if they, if they don't want to get dove? Behind. The, like, to the uh, second tier tier. Mm -hmm. That's tier two. So, where are you going to be to stop them from running here? In the bush, near between T1 and tier two. Mm -hmm. So, we're going down here. Then they can just run away. Yeah. So, just sit here. And they don't know you're here. So, Ash is recalling, like, right here, probably. If we were to load up the, re the replay, she's recalling here, here, here. You can still look to pressure here, here. Yep. If you walk up and reveal yourself right here, she's going to maybe freak out. And she'll decide whether she fully channels recall. If she does, then you kill Karma. Or she will decide to freak out and stay, and now you just stand in between here, and they're fucked. That's what diving looks like. You can't be behind them here. I don't know why we're going to the tribush. So right here, Karma's walking into you. How do you play Bevelith here to capitalize and chunk this, ca this Karma or even kill this Karma? What do you do? Uh, Q, and then if Q hits, then W, wherever if, what, do mean, if, what do you mean if Q hits? So you, you had me at Q. Good. What's yeah. next? Q, W. Yep, not a W. And then okay. Q... Yep. And then E. Yeah, or auto, 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 E. get low, yeah. You don't even need E. Right, because again, we're saving our E for what? Uh, Shaco. No, Shaco stop lane. Oh. Uh. We're saving our E for what now? For incoming damage? Right. Okay, what's our goal in the bot lane here right now? To push, the, to like, either get Play Twin Tower or kill Karma? Yeah, our goal is to kill Karma. When we're playing for this, this sequence right here, we're killing Karma. Yeah. Okay, so where do we want to use our E? When they're low. Yeah, so if you're going to use your E, when this guy's at this one of HP, because your, your Q1, you, this Q's not landing, but your W and your Q is landing, you're going to get this guy to this HP, or a little more because yeah. she has shield. You don't want to use your E then. When do you want to use your E? When she's lower, when right? Yeah, so when she's lower. when will she be lower? What, what, what position will she be in? In 10 seconds. Uh, if I auto or Q more, then she'll be lower. Okay, and then where, where will she run to? She'll run to tier 2. How can she run to tier 2 if you're behind her? Oh, yeah, she'll run to the tower. Oh. She'll run to their so tier I'm 1. Saving E for that, yeah, that dive. Yes, right? Save your E for yeah. the actual dive where she has no escape. There's no way for you to miss your E. There's no way for any of that to happen. E. Save your E for the dive. So no matter what here, we're not using E here, we're not using E here, we're saving our spells for the actual dive. And guess what? If you don't even need to use your E for the actual dive, that's amazing. Okay. So yeah. chunk this guy here, letting him kind of live for free. Whatever. And here, we use all four of our Qs. We're trying to dive them. So not only has, has Karma had a complete opportunity to just run away, Right, because we just queued four times here. We also don't have queues to catch up to anyone. 
So we lost vision, fog of war, our positioning, and our spells. That's it. You just need to get these fundamentals down, get these basics down. As a good player, that's what you need. Use your E 60 second cooldown when you're trying to dive, and you accuse as well. This gromp is no longer of importance. What's important is this dive. Get this kill, deny waves, get plates. So if you don't get gromp, that's fine. Auto gromp, auto gromp, auto gromp. And okay, shoot, we need to dive right now. Get off gromp, go dive. You also have a smite charge. You can use smite, not your E. It's a little unfortunate. All good though. Look at your teammates. Yay, they kill him. Okay. We spent a lot of time on that point. Let's go to the next one. Smite arena right here, man. You can literally use your E right now. E will target this thing and you can smite. The same thing you did to Baron. Don't miss the smite here. Alternatively, focus on killing him way earlier on. If you're not gonna, if you're just not gonna smite, man, that's fine. Just go fight him then, while he uses time to do this. So W on Shaco and then just start autoing him to death. All good though. Here's where big error happens, right? Yeah. Look at his HP. Also, think about Fog of War. Okay. You came out like this. Right? So let's assume there's no warts. Where can you come out that will give you the most amount of time, that give Shogat the least amount of time to react? Hugging the other wall. Hugging the other wall. Alternatively, there's one more option here. And it's going through the bush. Yeah. Okay, because look. I'll show you in a second. So right here, their Cho'Gath and these minions, they get vision all the way to like here. Right, or like maybe it's like here. So if you come out of the bush from this point, right, that gives him less time to react because you'll start showing here versus showing here. And, well, we're walking here. Where should you walk to to, to deny his escape route? Um, Where's Shogun's escape route? To his tower. Yeah. So where, which side should you be on? The left side or the right side? The right side. Yeah. So we're coming from the left side. So, Fog of War and positioning again. And then the fighting is just fighting. Like, we need to look at our spells. We look at our HPs, and also we have two smite charges again, and we use our E on the ground. Your E's a long cooldown, man. I'd rather use your W here, it's a 12 second cooldown, it's much shorter. You also have a smite charge. Stop using your E like that. Okay, Fog of War. Ash is here. What is Ash doing right now? He's buying the Vega. Okay, yeah, and which, what's your goal after she fights Vega off? To get first tower or one way, depending on conditions. Yeah, she's trying to push the wave, essentially. Yeah. She's, she's, she's stepping up, she's very far up. Which path can you go to deny her escape route? Uh, through the bush and hugging the wall, or hugging the other wall, mm -hmm. and then there. That's me here. Yeah. Look at what you did. Just run at her. Yeah. She spots you with this minion here the moment you're right here. Now you're in this position. She's in this position. How do you catch up to her? Or is she's 100% dead if you go behind her. Okay, so pathing again. Then this dragon. So I've said this a million, 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 hundred thousand, million, billion times. Pull the dragon out. Right? Pull it out. That means your, your Vagar here, your Serpent can be here. And now you can be the front line stopping Katarina and Karma from walking up. So pull these dragons out, please. And if they're fighting you, you need to be ready to fight. And this guy's full HP. Why are we starting the fight off with our E? Also, why are we using our Q here on the dragon when they can still contest us? Right, so we're down one Q. Sh shit. Okay, they're here. We're not getting ready to fight. We're not walking at them. We need to help our teammates here. Okay, and when the fight actually breaks out, our, we W, Q, this guy's half HP and you just charge your E. This 
Vagar will ult the, the, the carrier, right? That yeah. means you get to save your E, kill this guy with auto attacks, and use your E to kill the next target. Who's the next target? Karma. Is it? It would be Ash, but she's pretty far. She's like far than the Karma. And if the you use your E on it. Karma, what does Ash do to you? Hit me. And then, likely, because you have no spells? Die. Yeah. So who do you need to kill? To live. Ash. Yeah. So, if your target is Karma, and you use all your spells on Karma, Ash will kill you. But, if you if your target is Ash, and you use your auto attacks on, on Karma while you wait for Ash to walk up, use your spells on Ash, you kill the Ash. You win. So you can auto attack Karma, temporarily, while you wait for Ash to just walk up. Now use your spells on Ash. But you can't use your E at the start of a fight when the guy is full HP. Half HP. Doesn't work. Save your E. If you don't need to use your E to kill this guy, don't use your E to kill this guy. But also, even as principal, you're not Eing ever at full HP. Doesn't make sense. Half HP. Doesn't make sense. So you have two more Qs. You have six stacks on your uh, your autos. You're so powerful with Kraken right now. This guy dies to, th to three more autos from you and Vigor ult. And now, well, hey, you could you could probably kill this guy if you had your E. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the next sequence. So here's where I, I well, nothing really, mu nothing much is happening, um, and I don't really, there's not really much for me to talk about. I mean, I, one more time, it's another fog of war. Like, why are we showing ourselves? 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 What's th what's this do for us? So fog of war. You can't just reveal yourself for fun. Also, there was actually another time. Um, it was later. Okay. Um, here, again, um, they don't know you're in this bush, and you're like, running away. I mean, it's okay. We, we, we don't need to harp on that. You understand what Fog of War sounds like now, what it looks like.